The self-assessment heat maps can be located in the website futurebuildeducate.ie. They can be accessed through the tab at the top of the page and also by scrolling down on the main page to the self-assessment image. This brings you to the self-assessment web page. This is a technology enhanced learning tool that can be used for continued professional development for practitioners in the area of the Irish building regulations. It's a self-assessment tool that's web-based. It allows anyone who's in a built environment undergraduate program, people who are new entrant to graduates into the workplace and professionals in the construction industry to broadly um, assess where they feel their competence are in relation to the Irish building regulations. Uh, you have the functionality to be able to reflect in a non-judgmental and private way your own personal experiential and certified learning and map it against the Irish building regulations. Our department, we encourage you to reflect on the legislation, your role and responsibilities, both in the past, where you see yourself presently and on into the future for your continued professional development mapping. This has been designed in conjunction with a company called Anertech and the three colours they've chosen are suitable for people who have colour blindness. And we've also used visuals to remove the amount of text that could be associated with this sort of a mapping exercise. It's based on a one, two and three star process. Um, and the first star is I have little or no training experience and knowledge in this building type. And that's reference to the definition of a competent or competent person in the Irish building regulations and in the building control and regulations. Uh, the purple one in the centre has two stars and um, relates to your own personal um, assessment of your training experience and knowledge. Again, reference in a particular building type. And then the final one is three stars uh, indicating that you feel in your opinion have you have sufficient training experience and knowledge in this particular building type. Um, as defined in the regulations. If we scroll down this page, there are two options to go for. On the left-hand side is a general self-assessment and on the right-hand side allows you a more detailed, more onerous step-by-step -step assessment or mapping exercise of a particular building regulation and or a particular building typology. The number of typologies of building types that have been listed on the website for its first rollout are limited to nine. Uh, it could be extended in the future. And again, I'd love to get your feedback on it. If you use this as a continued professional development tool or you're using it to map your career development or your training requirements, uh, you know, on into the future. The general self-assessment tool allows you to work your way through in a very broad brushstrokes way what the requirements are for the Irish building regulations in general and where you see yourself at this current place in time. Um, it's all anonymous and it's kept uh, very uh, private. And at the end of this exercise, when you go through the few small tabs that are here listed, you will actually be able to download a PDF or a certificate essentially from this website to allow you to benchmark yourself in this time and place. So if I were to fill this out and I'll just put in my first name, for example, and my uh, designations, and then say I want to review my abilities in terms of dwelling houses if I were working in practice. Um, and then I would actually continue on using these sticky buttons, they float up and down, um, to then decide where I assess myself. And I feel perhaps I have sufficient experience in dwelling houses at this current space and time. And that relates to not only my own personal training experience, uh, but also my experience in practice and my general knowledge and detail knowledge of that particular building type and how it reflects in the Irish building regulations. And again, how I interpret myself to be at this stage in time. I do feel that it's been a while, perhaps, you know, since I have done, you know, this sort of building type, perhaps I need more experience in it. If you find yourself that you actually want to, you know, maybe do an undergraduate course or a module on it, you could select that option. You can select all or none of these options if you choose to do so. 
And I would encourage you also to benchmark yourself in terms of a reflective exercise to very quickly note down how long it's been since you've done an undergraduate course. I actually can't remember. It's been that long, uh, which says a lot. I'm going to put in 10 for the sake of it. How long have it been since you've done a postgraduate course? Again, I'm just putting in random numbers. They're not reflecting myself. How long has it been since you've done a continued professional development course? Again, all through the lens of the Irish building regulations. So whatever numbers you choose, whatever number of options you choose, you should be able to kind of work your way through those few small little questions to benchmark your capabilities in this place and time. Um, the very last exercise here is just to give some feedback on the forum. This was sponsored by the National Forum and all feedback is anonymized. It's held uh, you know, in a very careful way and it's really used to inform the usefulness of this tool as an educational tool and as a continued professional development tool and look towards lifelong learning. And also gives me feedback on the website and its usability and maybe some of its functionality. So, I'm a bit biased. I'm going to say it's very useful and I have no further comments to Matt. OK, some comment in there if you like. This allows me as a researcher to get um, qualitative and quantitative feedback very quickly on just your interface with the um, website. And then you can click Submit and download the PDF and it should open automatically into your download folder, depending on what operating system you're working on, it should appear here. There's also a button on the web page that you can click on to open it directly. And that'll tell me basically a, a nice synopsis of everything that I had noted on the web page. And I can take this away and use it then, you know, if I had um, a review for my professional development or CPD with my employer um, and where I actually want to see myself going forward, it allows you that writing it down, stating a process and actually taking it that bit further um, as part of your learning journey and your professionalism in how you approach what you do in, in practice.